place is amazing. Can you tell us a bit more about where we are? Well, we're down the bottom of a Victorian ice well, and this is a huge brick circle built under the ground here in London to store ice. The ice came from Norway. It was farmed from the mountain lakes of Norway, where the water is pretty clear and it's very cold, so the ice freezes naturally in winter. And it was brought across the North Sea in sailing ships into the London docks and then by canal boats to this building here and stored under the ground for people to use for food preservation and other things in the 19th century. This is over 150 years old, this ice well. Wow, it's amazing. What a journey the ice would make across all the way from Norway um, to here in the southeast of England. So how did the ice not melt on its journey? Well, you can think of this by thinking about taking two small pieces of ice out of your freezer at home. Taking one big piece of ice and one little piece of ice. You leave them out on the table, and as you probably can guess, the small piece melts much quicker than the big piece. Yeah. Now you magnify that effect thousands and thousands of times, and you get a long period of time in which you can keep your big piece of ice. And think of thousands of tons of ice all packed together in this well, so then they'll be kept for a long, long time. And you can keep it right up from the spring until the summer when it was needed most. Wow, that is fascinating stuff, Mark. So we have some big blocks of ice here, but I'm guessing this isn't big compared to the, the amount of ice that would be transported over. You don't like ice, Sam. You don't like ice. You don't like ice. It's only there. Much, perhaps ten times as big as this. Wow, and this has been here for quite a while, and this it's isn't right. melting that quickly, so I can see how the ginormous blocks of ice would stay. Yes, and these blocks will be here for days. So the ice would come to this well, and yes. there many other wells like this around? There were quite a number of ice wells around London and in other big cities as well. Uh, there were probably something like six to ten ice wells in London, especially along the Regent Canal. There were several uh, because the Regent Canal in North London has to play for great conditions for digging the well down into the ground. Um, and uh, but most of them, though, have been covered up or built over by modern buildings. So this well is the only one that's in preservation that you can come and visit. Wow, and it's so amazing to be here today, Martin. Um, so once the ice was here, what would happen? Would people buy it? Who were the customers? Well, yes, it was used, it was distributed by horse and cart, of course, because there were no motor vehicles then. Uh, and it was taken to fishmongers, butchers, dairy merchants, anyone who needed to keep food cold. But it was also used for medical purposes. You probably know if you put, if you bruise your arm and you, you put a cold pack of frozen peas on it or something, it helps to alleviate it. Uh, and uh, they used to use it for even for amputations. If you were unfortunate enough to have your leg cut off by the surgeon with a saw, that was a very painful thing, and it helped to have your leg killed with ice before they did it. Fascinating stuff, that is so good. Um, so, would most people be able to afford ice? Would it be oh, in every house? Um, mostly the poor couldn't afford ice. It was a luxury for wealthy people and traders and merchants. So, if you were a middle class house with plenty of money or a reasonable amount of money, you could have an ice box and have that ice box topped up every day by the ice delivery man. Wow, and you could just choose your size. Of the ice, they would chip well, off the yeah, block, they'd chip it down with a, a spike, which they'd poke into the ice and hammer it down to make the ice fit into a smaller block. If that's all you wanted. Oh, it's fascinating stuff because I know that we do, and I do take my food for granted. I pop things in there all the time. It keeps all my food nice and fresh. Well, we take lots of modern things for granted these days. The fridges and freezers—one of them. We all assume we've got a fridge in the kitchen, but we haven't. 